Introducing Kraft Fairly Hot Parents Macaroni and Cheese. The incredibly long-lasting Laffy Taffy. Star Wars electronic lightsabers, each sold separately, batteries not included. Advertising is trying to get people to buy what they're selling. A long time ago, it was a lot more straightforward. You'd have someone stand up in front of a television camera and say, please go buy my soap. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. It was pretty straightforward. Just come buy our things. Here we are. New Jell-O Instant Puddings are at your grocer's now. Stock up. These days, advertising can take all sorts of different shapes and be in all sorts of places where they're not so easy to notice, but they're still very effective. It's part of your atmosphere and your surroundings. You're eating cereal and you're being advertised on a cereal box. You're watching your cartoons and the commercial breaks coming on. Or your cartoon is sponsored by someone. Brought to you by Burger King and Nick. Advertising has become very scientific, very artistic, incredibly sophisticated. They might use bright colors. They might use really fun, animated characters. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. They use like this like catchy music to get your attention. And then it's supposed to be like funny humor. The sneakiest method for acquiring honeycomb, wearing dresses. And then you want to watch more and more. And then they have the hook. When you grab yogurt, you could win one of these, a Game Boy Advance SP. They show you how good the food is. Every bite is like a Reese's Cup. They have a jingle. Who will save the Pokemon? Gotta save them. Gotta save them all. They just find stuff that kids would like. I've got the new four for all. Wow. Just because of what they see on TV, they think that's what they should be eating for a snack. It's showing them an array of products that they might be tempted to buy. You want chocolate on us? You're in control. Oh, yeah. It's liquid fuel. Nickelodeon fruit snacks! <laughs> Products can be advertised in countless subtle ways. Logos that don't say the name of the company. Product placement in television programming or movies. If you can see the name, of a soda can, that manufacturer has pointedly paid that movie production company to put their product in there. What are you doing? You don't directly associate it with advertising. Time's up. Three bucks off. <laughs> Give me that. You're watching a movie. I will not bow to any sponsor. I think what's interesting about advertising and its relationship to our health is that it's something we really don't think about very much. I mean, who would sit down and say, hey, you know, advertising really affects my health. But it does. The chocolatey part of a good breakfast. It's a product that you're being sold, and the products sometimes are full of fat and full of sugar. You are going to receive so many messages, you have to intelligently decipher them, sift through them, and make your decisions. Are you ready to play? Do you have the bunny inside?